Let us solve for integer x comma y that satisfy the equation x by y plus y by x equal to x plus y. So we want to solve this equation. Obviously, you can see that x equal to y equal to 1 is a solution of this equation. So we can see it clearly that x equal to y equal to 1 is a solution of the equation x by y plus y by x equal to x plus y. Do we have another solution? No, we don't expect it to ha to get another solution. The reason being we expect x by y to be a fraction and y by x to be a fraction whereas x plus y to be an integer. Now you see that if x and y they have anything in common then we can cancel it out and y by x if they have anything in common and that all can also be cancelled out. So let d denote gcd of x comma y or highest common factor of x comma y obviously d is the gcd of x comma y or highest common factor of x and y they it must be that we can write x equal to d into capital x and y equal to d into capital y for some integers capital x comma capital y. Now x is a multiple of d and y is also a multiple of d so x equal to d times some integer and y is also equal to d times some integer. Let's write those value in equation 1. So let this denote equation 1. Let's substitute x equal to dx and y equal to dy in equation 1. Obviously we can cancel dx and dy. So x equal to dx, y equal to dy, again y equal to dy, x equal to dx, and right inside x equal to d times x and y equal to d times y. Now observe that since d is the greatest common factor of x and y, capital X and capital Y do not have anything common because if they have been if they were having anything common that is simply absorbed by d. Further, we cancel d a, d out and we have x by y plus y by x equal to d times x plus y. We can further simplify this expression and uh, we take LCM. So to obtain, oh, this is capital X. So X square plus Y square divided by XY equal to D times X plus Y. We can further write this as X square plus Y square equal to D times X plus Y whole thing into XY. Now, if x and y were different from 1, if x is not equal to plus minus 1, comma, there exist, once again, if x is not equal to plus minus 1, then obviously there is a prime p so that x is a multiple of p. We can take any prime factor of x and that prime factor will divide x or in other words, x will be multiple of that prime factor. Now from this equation we can write y square equal to d times x plus y whole thing into xy minus x square. You see that this quantity is a multiple of p. This quantity is a multiple of p. This is a multiple of p. What about this one? This is also a multiple of p. Again, difference of two multiple of p has to be again multiple of p. Therefore, y square is a multiple of p. Y being an integer, we must have that. So we see that if y square is a multiple of p, then y also has to be a multiple of p. So both x and y are multiple of p. In other words, p is a common factor. P is a common factor of capital X comma capital Y. But by our choice of capital X and Y, we capital X and Y do not have any common factor. So we got it something contradiction. So why is it that we are getting that contradiction? Because we are assuming that X is not equal to plus minus 1. So only choice is capital X has to be equal to plus minus 1. 
So we can see that capital X equal to plus minus 1 is the only possibility but X and Y they are, are interchangeable so we can say that Y equal to plus minus 1 is the only possibility as well. We can similarly say similarly y equal to plus minus 1 is but we have assumed earlier x equal to d times capital X and y equal to d times capital Y and we got capital X equal to plus minus 1 therefore x equal to plus minus d and y equal to plus minus d. Let's write those value back in equation 1. By equation 1 the equation that is given to us x by y plus y by x equal to x plus y. Now we have x equal to plus minus d and y equal to plus minus d. We see that either, either x equal to y equal to d or x equal to d comma y equal to minus d or x equal to minus d x equal to minus d comma y equal to d that that is the only possibility so so case one x equal case one x equal to y equal to d in that case this equation reduces to one plus one equal to d plus d so 2d equal to 2 so that gives us d equal to 1 so we got the most usual case the one we have seen initially that x equal to y equal to 1 because d equal to 1 what if uh, case 2 what if x equal to y sorry x equal to d and y equal to minus d in that case uh, we have x by y plus y by x equal to um, d by minus d plus of minus d by d that's simply equal to minus 2 but x plus y equal to uh, d minus d that's simply equal to 0. The same is true in case 3 so which is not possible which is not possible. So case 2 is simply an impossible case and case 3 similarly can be shown that case 3 we can show it similarly that is again an impossible case. Impossible case. Therefore we are forced to say that only solution to the given equation is x equal to y equal to 1. So we finally conclude that only integer solution of the given equation is x equal to y equal to 1.